We're definitely seeing a very crystal clear day across Texas. Here's a look at the currents across the Gulf Coast here. 73 in Houston, 75 in Galveston, 84 in Corpus Christi, 82 in Edinburgh. We're definitely feeling very comfortable, all thanks to some drier air and that cool front that arrived uh, about a couple of days ago. Current conditions right now, if you're heading out for lunch across the valley, 82 in McAllen, Harlingen, 83 Browns will at 84 degrees. As we plan our the rest of our day, we are expecting those highs to top out in the upper 80s, low 90s, but we're going to continue to see those cool and pleasant nights, lots of sunshine, but we will see some increasing clouds as we head into the beginning of next week. Also, so we could see some showers for Sunday and Monday, but that temperature trend remaining a bit on the cooler side, only getting up to about 89 degrees this afternoon, but lots of sunshine as well as those dew points in the 60s and 50s. Of course, the latest on Ian has been downgraded into a tropical storm, still bringing him heavy rain to portions of Florida. There winds at 70 miles an hour gusts at 85 miles an hour. As we look at those rainfall totals for Florida, you're able to see the path of that storm up to 12.99 inches of rain in some locations. 13.41 Orlando receiving close to eight to nine inches of rain, so definitely seeing some catastrophic effects. Unfortunately, this storm is not yet over. This is expected to move back over open water water once again becoming a hurricane as a category one and then heading directly into the Carolina. So we could still see some effects of this storm uh, for portions of the East Coast as it's going to veer back into the U.S. in the next uh, two to three days. There's also another de tropical depression. We have 11 that's currently in the middle of the Atlantic. This is a bit closer to Africa, so we're not really expecting this to pose a threat to land. That's going to remain in the middle of the Atlantic. Right now winds at 35 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. This is really uh, not going to be a problem for us here, but of course we're still seeing some indirect effects from Ian South Padre Island high rip current and risk for Thursday and Friday there. So definitely uh, keep that in mind. Stay away from the Gulf because the National Weather Service stating life threatening rip currents are in effect for the island, at least for the next 24 hours for us here across our inland areas. We are going to see mostly clear conditions, just a bit, a little bit of cloud cover, but mostly sunny and very pleasant, unless especially for this afternoon. We are seeing this high pressure system that's just dominating over Texas that is going to keep keep things at bay and keeping things very calm, at least for tomorrow and through the weekend. So lots of sunshine expected, quiet weather conditions, those highs in the upper 80s, low 90s. We're going to continue to see those cool nights and mornings. We woke up this morning in the 60s. It's one of the coolest mornings that we've seen in quite some time. So just keep that in mind that those morning hours are going to be fairly comfortable across the valley as we head into the next few days. Overnight lows once again dropping into the 60s. Northeast winds at 5 to 8 miles an hour. As we uh, look at those reservoir levels, we are trending steady there, but still still need some a little bit of rain in our Falcon Reservoir and Amistad Reservoir with a 43.0% full there as we look at that situation. For our next seven days, expect those temps to continue being warm and humid or warm and a bit more drier for those afternoon hours, but we are expecting those overnight lows in the 60s, so definitely I don't think it's cool enough to get those jackets out, but we are expecting those conditions to remain a bit on the calmer side, but just keep an eye on those rip currents if you're heading to the island.